The History of Monosodium Glutamate, The Hidden Neurotoxic Chemical. My name is Dr. Russell Blaylock. There is a hidden criminal lurking in our food, and it uses different names to trick us. Here's the story. I taste the best of all. People can't stop eating me. What about me? Monosodium glutamate, MSG, is a chemical food additive. For thousands of years, Japanese cooks have been adding natural ingredients to recipes to make them more tasty using seaweed like kombu or sea tangle. MSG will make us millions. Invented in 1908 by isolating the glutamic acid in kombu seaweed broth by Kikun E. I. Kita from the Tokyo Imperial University. Kikun I isolated what made the seaweed taste good and made a chemical version. Amino acids, of which there are 21 types, are the building blocks of all proteins in nature. Thus, all food containing protein also contains glutamate. This isn't going to end well. MSG is 78% glutamate, 12% sodium, and about 10% water. What's glutamate? There is naturally occurring glutamate that's found in food like cheese, tomatoes, mushrooms, and broccoli. Naturally occurring glutamate is called L-glutamate. Our normal digestive process slowly breaks down this natural or bound safe glutamic acid, and it is then delivered to glutamate receptors in our body and brain. Broken down this way, it is harmless. But the chemical glutamate that's in MSG is not natural. In a factory, however, the bound glutamic acid in certain foods, corn, molasses, Wheat is broken down or made free by various processes, hydrolyzed, autolyzed, modified or fermented with strong chemicals, bacteria or enzymes, and refined to a white crystal that resembles sugar. We should always try and avoid anything processed, so my mom says. When MSG was first being added to foods as a taste-enhancing substance, glutamate receptors had not been discovered and no one knew that excess glutamate could cause brain cell death. It's now a multi-million dollar industry or glutamate empire. The Ajinomoto company still produces the world's supply. MSG E621 added to foods since the 1940s. Hydrolyzed protein is another way to process vegetable proteins, similar to MSG. I'll show you how. Hold your nose, it really stinks. Recipe for hydrolyzing protein. Boil acid in a large vat, extraction hydrolysis. Add high-protein junk vegetables that no one would eat. Neutralize them with caustic soda, collect the brown sludge. Dry to a powder ready to flavor foods. Sounds disgusting, I'd rather be eaten raw. Glutamate causes brain cell death? Tell me more. It's not good news. By 1972, 262,000 metric tons of MSG was produced. Introducing excitotoxins! Roll up, roll up! Get ready to blow your minds! Literally. They tested large doses on retarded children, thinking the glutamate in MSG supplied the brain with energy. It didn't. By the late 1950s, studies emerged that showed it wasn't so safe after all. By the 1960s, MSG was added to baby foods. 1957, Two ophthalmists, Lucas and Newhouse, made a frightening discovery when feeding mice MSG. They were studying an eye disease called hereditary retinal dystrophy. To their horror, they found that the MSG had destroyed all of the nerve cells in the inner layers of the animal's retinas, which are the visual receptor cells of the eye. Yet still it was included in products for human consumption. Ten years later, John W. Alney, M.D., a neuroscientist working at the Department of Psychiatry at Washington University in St. Louis repeated Lucas and Newhouse's experiment in infant mice. His findings indicated that MSG was not only toxic to the retina, but also to the brain. When he examined the animals' brains, he discovered that specialized cells in a critical area of the animals' brains the hypothalamus, were destroyed after a single dose of MSG. A scientists call this free glutamate an excitotoxin. Glutamate is a neurotransmitter in the brain, in fact, it's the most common, but it's used in the brain in very small concentrations. When the concentrations of this transmitter rises above a certain level, the neurons in the brain begin to fire abnormally. In essence, they become overexcited. 
At higher concentrations, the cells undergo a specialized process of cell death. Brain cells are literally excited to death. Imagine what it did to the baby's brains. Worrying. Other studies. In the early 1950s, a neuroscientist by the name of Dr. Hayaski found that when monosodium glutamate, MSG, was injected into the gray matter of a dog's brain, the dog would fall down in its cage and begin to convulse wildly. Based on this observation, he concluded that glutamate was causing the dog's brain cells to become overexcited and fire uncontrollably. Despite this important observation, the report was largely ignored. The Japanese continued to use large amounts of MSG in their cooking and food preparation. Likewise, it had no effect on American use of MSG. I wouldn't touch the stuff, even if it was bone-shaped. And still more. Then in 1959, two other researchers working in a different laboratory found that when glutamate was placed on the muscle tissue of invertebrate crustaceans, it caused the muscle to contract vigorously. And they put MSG in baby food? And in thousands of other products. You see, it made their inferior quality food taste good. Profits over health. Dr. Almy and other scientists' results were ignored. How much worse can it get? The scientists and researchers weren't just ignored, they were ridiculed. The glutamate industry is huge. It controls the world processed food market. More about the glutamate industry and what it did in part two. Did people start getting sick from consuming MSG? Yes. Symptoms bloating, flatulence of gas formation, fatigue or tiredness, flushing, dry mouth, mild chest pain and headaches, numbness in the back of the neck, diarrhea or loose stools, heart palpitations, rapid heartbeat, depression, anxiety and mood swings, facial pressure or tightness or swelling, nausea, runny nose or congestion, sweating, heartburn or acidity, upper body weakness. Severe symptoms of MSG allergy include angina or severe chest pain, difficulty in breathing or suffocation, swelling in the throat, bronchospasm in patients with asthma, anaphylaxis, but it can cause neurological problems too. To make matters worse, the glutamate industry is hiding MSG and hydrolyzed protein in other food additives. This is so messed up. Why don't the governments care about us? Here's what to look out for. Food companies hide MSG and its alternative names where they can. Some have even said that pet foods contain hidden MSG. Is that why they have health issues? Often people are so busy, they don't have time to check the labels, and the ingredients can be printed very small, making it harder to read. Hydrolyzed can be spelled hydrolyzed too. Additives that always contain MSG, E621, MSG, gelatin, calcium caseinate, monosodium glutamate, textured protein, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, HVP, glutamic acid, sodium caseinate, monopotassium glutamate, hydrolyzed plant protein, HPP, yeast extract, glutamate, autolyzed plant protein, yeast food or nutrient, vegetable protein extract, and autolyzed yeast. Here's a list of ingredients that usually contain MSG or MSG is created during the processing. Malted barley flavor, barley malt, Barley malt extract, malt extract or flavoring, natural flavors, flavors, flavoring, artificial flavor. Modified food starch, carrageenan, natural chicken, beef or pork, lipolized butter fat, maltodextrin, dextrose, dextrates. Soy sauce or extract, low or no fat items, caramel flavoring coloring, torula yeast, soy protein, corn syrup and corn syrup solids, high fructose corn syrup. Stock soy protein isolate or concentrate, citric acid. When processed from corn broth, corn starch fructose, made from corn. Milk powder, bulan, flowing agents, whey protein or whey. Anything enriched or vitamin enriched. Whey flavoring, seasonings, most assume this means salt, pepper or spices, which sometimes it is. Protein isolate or concentrate, protein fortified anything, spice, pectin, anato, enzyme modified anything. Gums, guar and vegetable, protease, ultra-pasteurization, anything. Dough conditioners, protease enzymes, fermented anything. Yeast nutrients, lecithin, gluten, and gluten flour. Protein powders, whey, soy, oat, rice, as in protein bars, shakes, and bodybuilding drinks. Amino acids, as in Bragg's liquid amino acids and chelated to vitamins. Algae, 
phytoplankton, sea vegetable, wheat, barley grass powders, and wheat extract. Cinemix. It's a minefield. I've seen those words used in so many products. It's like a massive battle, and you don't know which direction it will strike next. Is any of our food safe to eat? Indeed. How can you keep up with it? You wouldn't know how much MSG was hidden in what you buy. Don't forget the E numbers. E620, E625, E621, E627, E622, E631, E623, E635, E624. It gets worse. There is another excitotoxin called aspartame. This artificial sweetener can be found in diet drinks, food, and medications. So what happens when you consume crisps that contain MSG or its hidden alternatives and an aspartame-laden diet drink? A double dose of excitotoxins. Run! Another way to get you to consume their poisoned food is the classic meal deal situation. Sandwich, snack and drink at a bargain price. Yeast extract, flavorings, yet these crisps boast of having no MSG. The Diet Coke contains aspartame. With the introduction of the sugar tax in the UK in 2018, it's hard to find non-diet drinks in the lunchtime quick grab section or with the meal deals. Most of the crisps for sale openly include MSG or the hidden MSG. Sometimes even ready salted crisps have hidden MSG. Check labels. Most school meals operate on a limited budget. It's very likely that low-cost processed food will have added MSG or hidden MSG. Children are more likely to be encouraged to drink sugar-free drinks too. Teachers often complain that children are more hyperactive after school lunchtimes, ADHD. Is this caused by what they eat? Prisons are also on a budget. What about the elderly in rest homes? We always have food that gives me heartburn. I know it's cheaply bought. There's nothing I can do about it. Gravy made from powder is bound to contain nasty flavorings. Preying on the marginalized, it makes me sick. Children and vulnerable people should be protected. Can MSG affect the behavior of prisoners too? You bet. What have all these cereals got in common? My children eat these cereals. Nestle Shreddies contain barley malt extract. Nestle Golden Nuggets contain flavoring. Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes contain barley malt flavoring. Tesco Wheat Biscuits contain malted barley extract. All those ingredients are on the list of items possibly containing MSG. People don't question what's in their food. Join me in part two where you'll read more about the side effects of consuming MSG. Also, the powerful glutamate industry and their devious deceptions. Check your products at home, go through your cupboards, see how many ingredients you find on the MSG list. It's an eye-opener. You can buy my book, Excitotoxins, The Taste That Kills. Remember, aspartame E951 is also an excitotoxin, and it may only show on the label. Contains phenylalanine. This is due to certain people not being able to metabolize phenylalanine in the body. Also, sucralose is a chlorinated sugar you might want to avoid. E. F. P. T. O. Z. That doesn't make sense. 